Dyke Show. Starring Dick Van Dyke. Rosemary. Maury Amsterdam. Larry Matthews. And Mary Tyler Moore. Very, very good. Listen to this. Now, it's the turn of the century, see? And Alan will play the part of Diamond Jim Brady. And he escorts the guest star on the show to Tony Pastors. Oh, good. Hey, good, good. And maybe we can get him to do some money jokes like, uh, he's so rich that... Uh, he's so rich that uh, he's even got a solid gold bathtub. And when he gets out, he leaves a 14-carat ring. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 this guy is too rich to take a bath. Too rich to take a bath? I, I mean, a, a regular bath. Oh. He takes milk baths. That's it, oh. milk bath. Oh, I got it. He ties a cow to the ceiling and takes a shower. <laughs> Look, don't worry, we'll get some good jokes later. Yeah. Well, you didn't say you wanted good jokes. <laughs> Look, buddy, the jokes are just a lead in anyway to the barbershop number because two singing waiters will come out and join Ellen. Yeah, that's right. Sal, you think we ought to run it down once? Sure, just, I'll okay. play. Come on. Go ahead. Try it. Let's see. I'll be I'll be Alan and you be the female guest star. We were sailing along. We were sailing along. along. Moonlight, Moonlight Bay. Bay. We oh. can hear the voices ringing. You can hear the they ringing. They seem to say. They seem to say. Oh, you have stolen my heart. You have stolen my heart. And now don't go away. Now don't, don't go away. away. As we sing love's old sweet song on Moonlight Bay. On Moonlight Bay. <laughs> Disturbing anything? No, I was expecting a headache anyway. <laughs> Come on, buddy, that's 25 cents. All right, my pleasure. Here you are. What, is, what are they doing? Well, we have a new rule. Every time Buddy insults you, he has to donate 25 cents to charity. You mean every time he has to pay? Yes, and all the money goes to aid mental health. Mental health? <laughs> yeah, we're trying to discover a cure for baldness of the brain. <laughs> I get a copy of the sketch, Bill. Hey, Sally, what'll it cost me to call him a big blubber nosed baboon? Oh, that'll run you roughly 75 cents. Can't afford it. <laughs> You're not a big blubber nosed baboon. You're a small blubber nosed baboon. <laughs> Rob, come on, buddy. Well, Mel, is Alan ready to hear the sketch? Yes, and I hope it's good. Oh, it is. Then I'll read it to Alan. You are going to read our comedy sketch to Alan? Why not? It's like Benedict Arnold reading the Declaration of Independence. <laughs> no, I think it would be better if we read the sketch to Alan. All right, all right, I'll buy that. I, I hope it's funny. It will be. Come on, gang. Yo, oh, wait a minute. You and Sally read, not him. What do you want me to do? You can... <laughs> That's for what I was thinking. <laughs> Michelle, will you get an extra copy of the script? Oh, sure. Hey, buddy, if any of my boyfriends call up and propose, say yes. Hey, what about Irving Fink? Uh, what do you mean, uh... Sure. <laughs> yeah, Marge. My brother? No, I... My, yeah, I got a brother. No, he couldn't possibly be here. He's in South America. Yeah. He's not in South America. <laughs> yeah. All right, send him in. Yeah, he's very charming. Charming. He got all the charm of an old-fashioned train wreck. <laughs> Come on in. Funny baby! <laughs> it's your kid brother, Blackie! <laughs> Here. Oh, you're kidding. Nah, I'm not. Get out of here. <laughs> Buddy, is that any way to greet your brother? Just to see you, I came all the way from Brazil. Well, I got all the coffee beans I can use. <laughs> I'm happy to see you haven't lost your sense of humor. Yeah, you stick around to see me lose my temper. Buddy, I'm your brother. Look, don't rub it in. <laughs> you're the brother that's embarrassed and humiliated me for years. Now, what do you want here? Oh, buddy, I've changed. Since I've seen you last, a lot has happened to me. Oh, the cops caught up with you. <laughs> now, wait a second. rig a dig a dig a dig a dig dig a dig a dig a dig My card. Lopez, DeGrutt, and Sorrell. 
Land investments, Rio de Janeiro. Hm. Where'd you meet Legretton, Degretton Lopez in a pool room? <laughs> <laughs> Look, I know this is hard to believe, but this is a legitimate and successful business. Feel the texture of that card. Genuine gabardine. <laughs> what do you want here? Nothing. It's just that I'm getting old and I, I want to set a few things right before my good looks fade away. You know, nobody believes I was a homely child. <laughs> well, that cute stuff don't go with me anymore. All right, Blackie, come on. How long has it been since you held a pool cue in your hand? Well, it's been five years since I held a pool cue, a pool, a cry, a cry, a cry, king, you see, I can't even say it anymore. <laughs> but do you know why I came here? Come on, how much do you need? It's not money. I want to introduce you to the new me. You mean you want me to introduce the old you to my new friends? So you can hustle them into a pool game. Well, I'm not going to do it, see? As far as I'm concerned, you can get out of oh, here. No, wait right a second. Now. Wait, 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 buddy. What do I have to do to convince you I'm on the level? Leave town. <laughs> Don't you believe a man can change? Yeah, a man can change, but you've never been a man. Goodbye, Blackie. Well, I'm sorry you feel that way. Well, I'm sorry you made me feel that way. Buddy, you're wrong. And I'm going to prove it to you. I'll see you later. Don't let him use me again. Marge told me your brother was here and you let him get away without even introducing me to him. Buddy, I'll never forgive you for that. Sally, I told you, he's not your type. Is he single? Yeah. He's my type. <laughs> Lucky for you, I got a date, though. Hey, gang, I don't love the script. You can all scoot. Oh, hey, God. Hey, Rob, do me a favor. Cover the merchandise, will you? I'm in an awful hurry. I've only got 40 minutes to go home, shower, get dressed, make up and get ready for an evening with Herman Glimsher. Boy octopus. <laughs> good night, gentlemen. Good night, Sal. Yeah, good night, Sal. Uh, good night, Rob. Buddy, is anything wrong? No, I'm all right. I probably ate too much for lunch. Something disagreed with me. Good night. Good Has, uh, has Buddy Sorrell left? Oh, he just left about five minutes ago. Oh, well, I'm his brother, Blackie. Oh, I heard you were here. I'm, I'm Rob Petrie. Glad to meet you. Nice to see you. I, uh, I had some things I wanted to show Buddy. Well, this will be home in about 15 minutes. Oh, thanks. I'll catch him tomorrow. You know, I have to tell you, Blackie, that working with that guy of yours is really a pleasure. Are all you Sorrells as funny as Buddy? No. Uh, my mother was very strict. She said you can't all be funny. Uh, one of you has to be handsome. Well... <laughs> <laughs> You made a wise choice. <laughs> Actually, we're all handsome in my family, but Buddy just hides it better than I do. I see. We're all salesmen, too. Buddy sells jokes, and I sell real estate. Hey, you want to go in business together and sell funny real estate? <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy, you're Buddy's brother, all right. Hey, you know something? If you're going to be in town a couple of weeks, my wife and I would just love to have you come out to the house and visit us. You know, we can't offer you much except maybe some home cooking and some fresh suburban air, maybe a home movie or two, and... Oh, maybe a little pool. <laughs> did you, uh, did you, uh, did you say pool? You mean you have a little pool for waiting, I guess, huh? Uh, no, no, pool, billiards. You mean you've got a pool table? Yeah, in the basement. Oh, well, look, uh, I, uh, I'd like to take you up on that sometime. Maybe I'll, I'll give you one of my cards and give you my phone number. I, oh. what happened to my wallet? I, gee, I hope I haven't lost it. So what'd you have it last? Well, I had it right here. I, I took it out when I, when I loaned Buddy some money. Oh, I, uh... Um, well, let's take a look around for it, Blackie. Yeah, well, look, you're on your way home. I, I don't want to hold you up. No, no, that's all right. I, um... So where were you standing? Well, I was just everywhere. I walked over here, I think, and I sat in the chair, then I walked... Look, you're on your way home. I don't want to hold you up. But if you live in the suburbs, you probably have a, have a big trip ahead of you. Huh? Oh, no, I, I go up to New Rochelle. I make it in about 40 minutes. New Rochelle, huh? Uh, hey! <laughs> what do you know? I, I must have... I found my wallet. I must have dropped it in there. Oh, huh? wonderful. <laughs> So you live in Nourishell. What a coincidence. Coincidence? Yes, I have a, an after-dinner business engagement in Scarsdale. 
Is that still near New Rochelle? <laughs> well, yeah, they don't move towns that large often. <laughs> well, what's the easiest way to get there? Well, well, the easiest way to get there is for me to drive you. Would you? I sure will. And listen, before your appointment, why don't you drive by the house and have dinner with us? I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> what you mean, big pot luck? That must be a Chinese dish, huh? <laughs> Laura, the dinner was just wonderful. I got to tell you, you, you boy, Frankfurt is better than my mother. <laughs> Thank you. Well, there's half a hot dog left. Who gets it? A blackie? <laughs> well, I'll force myself. Well, what can we do for you until you take your appointment tonight? Um, television, home movies, community sing, or coffee, or pool? <laughs> you, you really have a pool table, don't you? Yeah, down in the basement. Laura gave it to me to keep me off the streets. <laughs> you like to play? Well, I, uh, I'd love to try. It's been a long time. Okay. You want to join us, honey? No, no, no. You two go ahead. I'll rack up the dishes. Oh, do you? Do you, uh, you play pool, Laura? Not with this one, I don't. He's a real hustler. Is he now? You've heard of Minnesota Fats? This is Illinois Skinny. <laughs> now, you two go ahead. I'll bring your coffee down to you later. Okay, thanks, honey. This way, Blackie. Are you uh, really as good as she says you are? I'll let my pool cue speak for me. This way, pigeon. <laughs> Just throw your coat anywhere, Blackie. Hey, you've really got a real professional setup here, haven't oh, you? Oh, yeah. Okay, choose your pool cue. Oh, it doesn't make any difference to me, anyone at all, do it? Oh, okay. Thank you. Uh, what are you doing that for? Just to see if it's warped or not. Oh, I see. <laughs> Uh, round ball, isn't it? Oh, yeah. I wonder what it's made of. I don't know. Ivory, I think. Oh, nice and white, too. <laughs> I bet I know what you're doing that for. Friction, right? Right. Yeah. I saw that movie with Paul Newman and Jackie Gleason. Oh, wasn't that great? Are there really fellas like that who trick other fellas into playing pool for money? Oh, yeah, there are guys that make a living at that. <laughs> you're, uh, you're, not, you're not one of them, are you? Oh, no, but I could have been, but my wife won't let me go to pool hall alone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy, what do you want to play? Well, it makes no difference to me. I... Well, how about eight ball? Do you like that? Eight ball. Is that what you lose if you're knocking the eight ball before the rest? That's it. Shall we? Well, okay, you break them. Break them? Yeah, hit the hit the uh, first ball. Oh, well, you hit the first ball, of course. Yeah. Break them. I, I, I haven't played for some time, so you'll have to bear with me. Yeah, so I you catch I, on. Yeah, just, I used to stand like this, I remember. And, and one, and two, and oh. Oh, you got too <laughs> bad, Blackie. Try it again. <laughs> well, is, is that allowed? Well, in a friendly game like this, it is. Oh, bad. thank you. <laughs> hey, Blackie, look, if, if you put that cue in there and curl that forefinger over, see how it gives you control? You yes, 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 yes. You, I, you just curl the finger over. Huh? Yeah, that's it. it gives you a little more of course, your fingers are taller than mine. <laughs> <laughs> just curl the fingers over like that, huh? and then kind of go one and a two and a three. Hey! I got one in, didn't I? <laughs> yeah, I did. The only trouble is, Black, yeah, yep, it was the uh, eight ball. Oh, that means I lose, doesn't it? Yeah, <laughs> sure does. Holy smoke. You know what that was? That was a chance in a million. I don't believe I've ever seen an eight ball go in on the break before. You know something? You couldn't do that again if you tried. <laughs> you know, I uh, could have been pretty good at this if I hadn't wasted my time as a kid hanging around the libraries. <laughs> <laughs> now, what's the score now, Rob? Well, I'm afraid I've got you five games to one, Buggy. Tell me the truth. You let me win the last one, didn't you? I did not. I played the best I could. Ah, oh, come on. No, no kidding. I did. I'll tell you, there's only one way to keep you honest. We've got to play the next game for a buck. No, Blackie, I don't like to play for money. To tell you the truth, neither do I. As a kid, we used to play for soda crackers. Soda crackers? Yeah, and I was pretty good, too. They used to call me old dry mouth. <laughs> <laughs> also, we'll play for one dollar's worth of soda crackers, all right? <laughs> Say, fellas, you think you could get along without me for about an hour? There's a medical documentary on television I want to see. It is just as well a kid like you doesn't belong in a gambling den anyway. Exactly. Are you playing for money? No, soda crackers. Soda crackers? Yeah, it'll give me the psychological edge I need to beat him. Illinois has me five games to one. Well, I warned you about him. Listen, the coffee's right here, and if you want any more, just uh, get it yourselves. Yeah. <laughs> Cute wife you have, Rob. <laughs> no, she isn't. She just puts that on for company. Now this is for one dollar worth. Of, this is for one dollar worth of soda crackers, right? 
All righty. Okay, you're making me feel like a hustler, though. And one, and a two, and a three. And? There you go. When I play the soda crackers, I'm invincible. Oops. I guess it's your turn. Pretty tough shot, Rob. Well, it sure is. Well, I'll call the nine in the corner pocket. Nine in the corner pocket. Good luck. <laughs> It goes nothing. Hey, there. Hey, luck, huh? Hey, you just won yourself a dollar's worth of soda crackers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm afraid I'm not being a very polite host. Well, you must admit I played the best game that I could. Here's your buck. No, I can't take it, Blackie. Oh, come on. You won it fair and square. I tell you what. You send me a dollar's worth of soda crackers sometime, okay? I'll tell you. Give me a chance to get even. We'll play for two dollar's worth of soda crackers. <laughs> okay. But I'm playing under protest. Look, I don't care how you play, just as long as you play. What you're about to see is Dr. Curley making his first penetration into the skull. Goodbye, Dr. Curley. <laughs> it's more like it. No, you won it fair and square. Well, I don't, I don't hug us out of hand. It seems like a few minutes ago we were playing for $2. Yeah, but you won 10 games straight, and I owe you $300. <laughs> Look, Blackie, let's just forget and call it even. No, no, no. A debt is a debt. I owe you $300. <laughs> oh, hi, Laura. Hi, buddy. I figured you might come by. You did? Come on in. I didn't. <laughs> Lucky, I can't take $300 from you. You're my friend's brother. Why, I would take it from you if I won. No, look, let's, let's just forget. You don't believe that I'd take it, do you? No, I don't. Well, I would, and I'll show you how I can prove it. Sit down. Buddy, is something wrong? Laura, I... I got a big, fat, guilty conscience. I thought maybe you could talk me out of it. Blackie, it's ridiculous. Well, suppose you lose. You'll owe me... Nine hundred dollars. Yes, but if I win, you owe me three hundred dollars, and I take it. You're not afraid of me, are you? Well, no, I'm not afraid. You're going to give me a chance to get even, aren't you? Well, okay. Then it's a bet. Buddy, you're not making much sense. I mean, I still don't understand what you have a guilty conscience about. Well, this afternoon, my black sheep brother came to visit me, and I practically kicked him out of the office. What do you mean, black sheep brother? Six hundred dollars, huh? That's right, Ron. No. Very good. Oh. Ah. Oh. Okay, your shot, Blackie. What are, you, what are you doing there? Drying my palm. Well, I, I mean, where, where, uh, where did you get that talc? Well, I always carry a little with me for an occasion like this. Uh, you're, you're a, you, you uh, yeah. We, we, we shook on the, on the bed. Yeah. I, I, I don't suppose you, you'd care to forget. Uh, no. I believe it's my turn, Mr. Petrie. It's awful embarrassing, but I... Well, he's an old pool hustler. Your brother's a pool hustler? I'm so stupid. This won't take long, Mr. Petrie. Come on, let's go get him before Rob loses the house. Well, they're not playing for money. I believe this should do it, Mr. Petrie. 
Rob. Rob, he's a hustler. So I know, I know. Hi, buddy. Look, Black. Please, now. please. That'll be three hundred dollars, please. Three hundred dollars. All day long, I've been feeling guilty about you. Now, Blackie, why don't you just get out of here? I'd be glad to, just as soon as I collect my three hundred dollars. Are you in the habit of welshing on your debts? Now, he never welched on anything in his huh. life. I know what to say. I never welched on anything in my life. <laughs> now, if you'll just come over here, I'll write you a check. Rob, you are not going to write him a check. Oh, yes, I am. But don't he go? I know what he is, but I'm not a welcher. Rob, will you put that checkbook away? I'll give him the 300 bucks, anything, just to get rid of him. I don't want your money, I want his money. Oh, I deserve it, buddy. But, Rob, listen, I deserve it for being so stupid. No, I, I'm enjoying this. I'm enjoying learning a little lesson for a change. Boy, $300 worth oh, of yeah, and I went for all that jazz this afternoon Boy. about you becoming legitimate. It's too bad I couldn't convince you. Here's your check. Wait a minute, Blackie, you're not gonna... Rob, of all the money I've ever hustled, this is the most important. No, oh, I'm very flattered. Buddy, I couldn't convince you that I was legitimate this afternoon. Oh, you sure couldn't. I know. I could have talked all afternoon and never have convinced you. I knew that I had to do something that you'd never expect of me, something that you'd never seen me do before. Like what? Like this. Rob, for you. I don't get it. Hey, is this on the level? That's nah, another one of his hokey bits. No, this is on the level. I'm a legitimate real estate agent. Oh, sure. Won't you ever believe me? All right. Tell me, what finally made you go straight? The love of a good woman. <laughs> buddy, buddy, this is true. I met her in Rio. What, do you want some violins and guitars in back of the jet? Now, look, look, I'm not clowning. She knew the way I earned a buck. She knew the whole bit. We got along pretty good. She said to me, Blackie, you have a choice. Either you can go on hustling as you have been, shaming your family and your friends, or you can marry me and share a wonderful life and my two and a half million dollar inheritance. <laughs> Kidding. Here's a picture of the two and a half million. She got two and a half million? That's right. And you married her? <laughs> it's my wife. You know she could be a lot uglier for two and a half million. <laughs> and you know what else, buddy? I'm gonna pay back every cent I ever took from Look, me. forget the money. You wanna make me happy? Make me an uncle. <laughs> This first time I've shaken hands with this guy since he was confirmed. <laughs> How does it feel? Hey, wonderful. I think we ought to make it a habit. Uh, Laura, thank you for the feeding. Oh, well, uh, thank you for the tearing. Buddy, what do you say? Drive me home? Sure. Hey, thanks for taking care of me, rich brother. Don't mention it. I'll see you out. No, it's all right. I know the way by now. Good night. Good night. Really? Two and a half million? You sure? Give or take a few hundred thousand. <laughs> That, uh, that Blackie's sure a lucky guy. How do you figure that? Well, I mean, he's going back to Brazil to a wife of two and a half million dollars, and uh, she's not going to get all over him for losing $300 shooting pool. Is that what you think I'm going to do to you? Oh, yeah. You're right. Rob, how it's could you have been on, so honey. foolish? <laughs> you were almost taken in by what could have turned out hey, to be a real hustler. Food? Look, I'm going to be a That's some combination. <laughs> You're shot, honey. Oh, my gosh, the Maltese Falcon. The what? The Maltese Falcon. It's on television. How do you have seen that movie at least a dozen times? I know, Johnny, but it has Humphrey Bogart, and I'm always surprised at the ending. Well, at least finish the pool game with me, will you? You'll make me play another one, Rob. I, I promise. Just finish this one. Just this one? My word. I want to see you get out of this. All right. Finishes the game, Mr. Petrie. <laughs> well, my mother finds out I married a pool shark. <laughs>
leave your thoughts and comments below and smash that subscribe button helps the channel and click that like button see you all soon